yeah, there's a chance that we get to the end of this and I've done this all completely wrong, but I think I understand. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Sipcast. It is Friday, which means that it is Movie Minutes. Uh, this is a segment where me and Samuel, or Samuel and I, I am sorry, English majors. <laughs> this is a segment where Samuel and I dissect the movies that we watched this week, or maybe a little bit farther in the past. Um, yeah. Maybe movies we really enjoyed, maybe movies we mm-hmm. really disliked, maybe movies we really just felt meh about. Um, and that's that's actually the case for, whoa, that's actually the case for the movie that I chose uh, this week. But Samuel, I'd be interested to hear if you've watched anything this week. Yeah, well, I haven't watched anything this week, um, but I would love to talk about um, a movie that I've been thinking about a lot recently, Indiana Jones. Um, the and fifth specifically, one's yeah, I, I knew, I heard about that, and I'm very nervous about that. Uh, but let's, let's harken back to a happier time <laughs> with the um, just Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, I don't know why I was thinking about this, but all of a sudden I was thinking about have you ever noticed how. Um, when they're getting the Ark of the Covenant, you can see R two D two and C three PO like carved into the wall. I think I was thinking about that for some reason, and then I was just like, "Man, that is a movie I need to watch again." I think um, I honestly though, Samuel, I don't know, and I don't mean to. I think that you can you see them in the Raiders of the Lost Ark on the Ark. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I, I, I know so. you can. I know you can see them clearly in Crystal Skull. Okay, when they're in the artifact room. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think I'm pretty sure you can see them in Raiders of the Lost Ark as well. Okay. Um, that's the only place I remember seeing them. But I do need to. I don't like Crystal Skull, but maybe I should watch it again just to. <laughs> um, do it. See, yeah. <laughs> just um, do it. <laughs> uh, shout out to Shia LaBeouf who had a brief debut as Indiana Jones's son. And what then, was his name again? Mutt. Junior. Right. Oh, Mutt. Yeah, you're right. It was Mutt. <laughs> That is, eh, gosh, that's so rough. Gross. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I just love the masterpiece of Raiders of the Lost Ark. I like all the first three Indiana Jones movies, but um, Raiders of the Lost Ark is just so good and simple, um, and just like it's you've got a great adventurer who's kind of a Han Solo type, but um, <laughs> but on Picture Earth. Picture that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. I really like the villain. I like Belloc, the uh, the French archaeologist. Um, he's they're French. Going after, I think he's French. I just assumed he was a Nazi in German. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure he's French. But yeah, I think that's a crazy element. They're Nazis. There are a lot of Nazis in Indiana Jones. Oh which, yeah. It's it's great because it's like they're the they're the world's bad guy. You, you gotta pick the common <laughs> enemy, man. You gotta pick yeah. the common enemy. Um. But yeah, I loved that movie so much when I was little. Um, a quick story about it. So, I guess this movie came out when um, my mom and her siblings were younger. And my grandmother went to take them to go see this movie. And I guess at that point, there weren't really that many trailers or things like that. Um, it was a simpler time. And after hearing the title, she thought it was going to be some sort of biblical documentary. <laughs> and so then when it ended up being much more of an adventure movie and there were tons of snakes it freaked my aunt out so much she ran out of the theater <laughs> oh my word um but yeah just plain and simple i just love this movie i haven't seen it in a long time there's some great gunfights. um i love the the guy who swings the sword and then indian jones shoots him yeah um that's a classic um but yeah, I don't know. I was just thinking about that movie, and I was like, "Dang, I need to watch that movie again." There's some great, uh, great practical effects with the face melting. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, there's a couple things. Seen... There's a couple gruesome things from that movie. Yeah, that is a wild movie, and I saw it when I was pretty young. So the, like thinking back on melting? it now, <laughs> the face melting and the guy getting caught in the airplane. Yeah, yeah, the but I guess that's, German guy. <laughs> I guess that's just like The Incredibles. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's basically The Incredibles, <laughs> which is so dark. I do not know how Disney got away. Like why they, why Pixar chose to kill him off that way. Yeah, that is, that is a so bold move. Dark. 
I've never thought about it that way. And then, like, also, like, when Edna... Like, they're making it kind of comedic when she's saying no capes. But, like, you see so many people die. You see a guy get pulled into an elevator shaft. You see a guy get pulled into a tornado. Another girl gets sucked up into a plane. Like, while she's waving at, like, a family in the plane. I know. Imagine if it was rated R. That'd be insane. Like, it's... Yeah, that's just so... That is a bold Disney move. Yeah, it was so dark. <laughs> I remember seeing that, and I was just like, oh, my word. That's like Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah. All I, all I can say is good things about this movie for the most part. John Rice davies is in it, who then plays Gimli in Lord of the Rings. Um, he's Sala, the big Egyptian guy. Um, but yeah, I'm, I just love that movie. Um, and I'd love to hear what you watched this week, Jack. I'm okay. excited to hear your thoughts. So last night, uh, I was I hadn't seen a movie all week, and I kind of had a chill time last night. So I picked out a movie on Amazon Prime. I, I went through all the streaming services mm-hmm. to find a movie. Um, thank goodness I didn't watch The Wrong Missy. I'll probably <laughs> watch that. I mean, honestly, that probably would have been on my list. I'll probably watch that soon just because it's getting so much attention now. Yeah. It's kind of like it's kind of like a plane crash. Like it's it's kind of like Tiger King where it's like it's so bad you can't look away. You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I might watch that later, but I went to Amazon Prime and I like looking at all the artsy movies that are from A24 on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was gonna watch The Goldfinch with Ansel Elgort, but I ended up oh, watching yeah, yeah. I ended up watching uh, Hotel Artemis, which is a movie that I wanted to watch when it came out, but never got mm-hmm. around to it. They have a really it's a really good cast. Um, I forget I forget. Um, it's Jodie Foster is the main character, and she plays like. She plays like a nurse that patches up like criminals and like they have a gotcha. hotel that's like the hotel is like uh it's supposed to be like criminals come there and get medical aid or whatever. Mhm. Um and then there's like she's like an anxiety person. She's like a bunch of anxiety. It's I I wouldn't say it was a great movie. I wouldn't say mm-hmm. it was a bad movie. I'd say it was meh. Um What Charli- genre would you put this in? Ah, that's a good question. Probably thriller. Okay. Charlie Day is in it, um, and he's playing, oh, really? okay. he's playing like a non-comedic role, which is n- <laughs> new grounds for him. I mean, I guess yeah, it's kind of a comedic role, but not like super mm-hmm. comedic. Can I, I, I'm going to spoil how Charlie Day dies because it's gruesome. Right, I'm so Charlie Day is like an arms dealer in the movie or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah. he had, like, um, he has like in his wallet, like a, a playing card, mm-hmm. but uh, the actor Sterling K. Brown um finds it sterling sterling k brown is an amazing actor by the way he might be one of my favorite actors now he hmm. is so good anyways he finds it like the playing card in his, in his wallet because he steals the guy's wallet because he's also a criminal mm-hmm. he was just seeing what was in there and he like he like peels back the he like peels back the card and sees like it's like it looks like a debit card or whatever yeah and you like put it in a 3d printer machine and it prints a gun mm-hmm. or whatever because he's like an arms dealer uh, gotcha. and uh so he prints the gun. Uh, Charlie Day's character printed a gun before that or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so Charlie Day, um, Sterling K. Brown, like, tackles him because he's, like, pointing a gun at somebody else that Sterling K. Brown knows from the hotel. <laughs> Sterling K. Brown tackles him and puts his head in a 3D printer machine. And Golly. then, yeah, it's gruesome. And it is just it, goes, like, the hot, the hot plastic gets him? Or is it, like, it just crushes him? It, like, crushes him. Golly. And then it, like starts printing the gun in inside. It's gross. <laughs> yeah, I don't wild. know. I think my favorite character in the movie was Dave Batista though, and he's not uh-huh. he's he's not usually like a character where it's like endearing and like you love him or whatever. He's usually yeah. like, a comic <laughs> relief character or like the muscle and the intimidation yeah. character. But Definitely. he's a, he's a, he's a big teddy bear in this movie, and you just <laughs> you love him like like at the end, like you think he's dead. Spoiler alert. He's not dead, uh, and he like beats he like beats up all this this guy's crew. Also, Jeff Goldblum is in the movie, and oh, he really? plays okay. he plays a bad guy. Oh, gotcha! Like a bad like a bad bad guy. Not not, not, not like, like Thor, Thor Ragnarok. Ragnarok. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he plays like a bad bad guy who's not <clears throat> endearing at all. Um, Interesting. Which I did not like. I did not like on him. Yeah. Especially like knowing the kind of person he is, like in real life, and watching <laughs> yeah. the world according to Jeff Goldblum, you kind of like, you kind of like get to know him. You know, it's like he's mm-hmm. this goofy guy. <laughs> you don't really see him as like a serious, like playing serious characters. Especially like 
Right. When he's in all these Wes Anderson movies or whatever. Mm-hmm. But then he like plays like a serious bad guy. I don't know. I didn't. I I probably wouldn't watch it again soon. I might watch it again mm-hmm. in a few years. It, it was entertaining. Um, mm-hmm. Did you rate it on Letterboxd? Not too funny. Not too scary. This is just meh. I'd just say meh. it was meh. Okay. Like three. But stars, yeah, that's two stars. That's my movie for movie minutes today, man. Hotel Artemis. It's on Amazon Prime. I I mean, I, for a first time viewer, I think it's it's entertaining. So I think you would like yeah. it. But I don't if you know can if navigate the twice. streaming service. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Sterling K. Brown, like I said, is amazing. Uh, yeah. Brian Tyrese, who plays Paperboy in Atlanta, is amazing in the movie. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, I really like him. Just I think a good he's a really movie good all around. So yeah, awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you are not on YouTube and you're on a podcast hoping, hosting site, keep on listening to us. Um, if you're listening, let us know. We will have a special video tomorrow, just like every Saturday recently. Uh, that'll be on YouTube, um, 6 a.m., so go ahead and check that out, too. We really enjoy doing those, and we will see you back on these podcast hosting sites on Monday. We'll see you on YouTube tomorrow morning. Have a good one.